right. I want to go over loose leash walking um, here before we go outside and do a loose leash walking. So um, I just want to give a couple quick notes on it. So one thing I've worked on with Tibbs is doing a cue, good boy, called side. So side is where he's going to come up and align to my left side. So I know you guys use heel. Um, I don't uh, particularly use heel in training. As in the beginning, we're just working on loose leash walking. So walking without pulling, walking with there being slack in the leash, okay? So um, when I do a side, it kind of looks like I'm getting him into a heel position. So, uh, where there scratches, tips. Ready? Tips. Okay. So um, I'm just gonna show you the side. Can you watch me? Tips, side. Yes, good boy. So as he's just coming around right here and getting next to me. This is, it looks really simple, but I swear it feels a little tricky when you first do it. So one thing you can do is practice it on a wall. Practice where you can give him this little space. So when you start, you can actually put a treat here or put his food and say tip side and lure him around. Yes, right, that's kind of putting it down in his basic form. There, go, buddy. Good, okay. So this is if we're out walking and he's ahead of me and I want him to come in closer, I'm gonna ask for the side. Good boy, you wanna try it again? We'll go this way. Tips, side. Yes. Now, if I was holding the leash with this hand, I might come and do it this way. So it just depends how I'm holding the leash. Um, a lot of times if I have a big leash, do I have one standing up? Well, oh yeah. If I have my leash, good boy, might have it around my wrist right here and then I would typically have his harness on him, right? But if I'm training, I'm gonna have my food here so I can bring it across. But if he ever pulled too hard, it also allows me to hold on to both pieces. Um, and again, my goal when we're walking is that this is always loose. So at any point, if he is ahead of me and he started to pull, I'm just going to stop walking. I'm not gonna continue going forward if he's pulling. So like the day we went into Petco, he just like, anytime the doors open and we started to go forward, he just wanted to like fly through there. So I would walk us back out, I could have him go into side, and we would start over again until he could walk with me, not pulling me. So side, yes. Okay, so one of the things I'm doing, when I'm doing the side, he's looking at me, I am stepping back with this left leg, he comes here, and then I close up, okay? This leg stays planted. Okay. Tips, side. So I step back, close up, yes. So I'm gonna yes him when he gets right here, right next to me. Okay, and then we would say, let's go, and we're gonna start to move forward. So as I'm walking him, if he is staying here with me, I can praise him. I'm definitely going to be treating him. You guys need to be taking uh, his treats and probably some special, uh, his dog food and some special treats on the walk. So this is a place where you should be reinforcing um, every time. So have a treat pouch, have something to bring food with you. But that way you can start to reward him when he is in the sweet spot, which is right here. Okay, if he is a little bit ahead of me, but not pulling, I'm fine with that. So if they're slack in the leash, we can continue walking. But once he starts to pull and that leash gets tight, I'm gonna stop and wait. I'm waiting for him to relax. When he relaxes, I could call him back into side. I could continue the walk. Um, if he just kept pulling and pulling and pulling, I may just change directions altogether and start walking the opposite way. And that's what I do a lot when we're first working on walking with any dog. I'm just changing directions every time they pull. But when I change directions, I can reward them again at my side, right? So when they catch up to me, I can go yes when they're here. Okay, let's go. Yes, right? Because now you're here. You're where I want you to be. Um, with kids in the house and that sort of thing, you guys could leash him up 
and practice walking around your house with him. Just have him practice standing next to you. Practice, you know, that when you stop, you can ask him to sit or do the down, um, but just following you. You could do it in the backyard. You don't always have to start out in these super high distraction environments. So let's go to go forward, easy to slow down, hurry to speed up, side, oh, good boy, to, to line up next to you.